Hi, welcome to my channel, Bruja Tarot. Today I am doing um, your reading Taurus. This is going to be for money and career from mid-June through mid-July 2020. So we see what we have for you, okay? I'm going to be using the Chinese tarot deck. I'm going to pull a card from the fortune cookies for you. And then I'm going to pull the success oracles. I just want to let you know that... You know, I've had some comments about the success oracle. Some people are not happy with the card that I pick or that comes out. I just want to remind you that um, these cards have people who embrace different philosophies, maybe different politics than maybe what you embrace. Um, you may not agree with them. You may not like them. Um, however, these are just messages that I'm delivering. So try not to take these personally if you do not like the card that comes out, okay? All right. So let's see what we got here, guys. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages for Taurus on this money and career reading from mid May, I'm sorry, mid June through mid July 2020. Please give us clear messages for my Taurus that are watching regarding the messages that they need to hear for money and career from mid-June through mid-July 2020. One more shuffle here, guys. For my Taurus, money and career. Okay, one more. <laughs> All right, one more for my Taurus. Money and career, mid-June through mid-July. Thank you. Okay, Let's see what we got here. All right, I'm going to pull five cards for this, okay? The bottom of the deck, what do we have? The Seven of Cups and the Hanging Ghost, okay? The Hanging Ghost is uh, the Death card and the Seven of Cups. So perhaps you are putting an end to certain options that you have or um, you have a new beginning with options or illusions, right? The Seven of Cups can be about options or illusions. So perhaps you are having an awakening, okay, to maybe some new options that you hadn't realized before or you're seeing things in a new way, okay? Interesting. Let's see what else we get. Okay. And the first position is your current financial situation is the eight of coins. Okay. So in your current financial situation, you seem to be working hard. Okay. You seem to be putting a lot of effort into something. Okay. For those of you who do have a job and or a business that you're working hard at, um, you seem to be working. You seem to be very busy in what you're doing. And for some of you, you know, um, for some of you, I'm sensing that maybe the work that you're doing is kind of exhausting you a little bit, okay? Uh, maybe you're feeling tired by the work that you're doing. Maybe it's too much work that you have on your plate, okay? Um, maybe also here, um, you have certain bosses or certain management or certain overhead things that... Uh, dictate what you do that you may not be happy with okay um, and I'm not I'm not seeing like it's happy work that you're having right now uh, maybe you're doing it because you know you need the money or uh, you know this is the job that you have now so you're kind of sticking with it um, but this is your current financial situation as you are working hard and you do have a job but you don't seem to be quite in a space where you're happy about the work that you're doing. You're not completely miserable, um, but you feel like you could do better, okay? Now, where are the new sources of income going to come from is the Confucius card, okay? Um, this is the world card, okay? Sorry, not the, um, not the world card, the judgment card, okay? Let me read what the book has to say about Confucius in this. It says, the teachings of Confucius emphasize benevolence, a sense of duty, sincerity, justice, and wisdom. 
The philosophy is based on the tenet that the universe and humanity are regulated by a moral order. Atonement, judgment, self-perspective, rejuvenation, rebirth, improvement, development, promotion. Okay, so I feel like the new sources of income here are going to come from some type. You're going to have some sort of self-perspective about yourself. You're going to be looking at yourself in a new light, I think. You're going to be seeing things where you can improve or develop or perhaps where you can get a promotion in your you know, in your current work environment or um, maybe through another job or by even starting your own business or things like that. And I think you're going to have this new perspective because, like I said, you're currently in this position where you're working hard and you are maybe some of you are unhappy where you're at right now. And you're kind of this is kind of taking you into this moment where you're you're having a different um, perspective on yourself and you're kind of being able to see that perhaps you're seeing that you're not happy and that you have, you know, something um, sincere to offer, that you have certain wisdom and certain skills in, in your, um, in the type of work that you do in the type of career that you do. Okay. So you're kind of your new sources of income are going to come from you seeing yourself in this new light. Okay. And from you coming out of maybe a rut that you're in for some of you. Okay. And you're going to be seeing yourself in this new light. Now, what opportunities do you need to consider is the eight of cups. Okay. The eight of cups is about walking away from something that was uh, emotionally unfulfilling for you. So with this card being in this position, I think it's asking you to take a look at these things that maybe you walked away from in the past. Okay. Maybe it's a former job that you had that you left prematurely because, uh, there was something about it you didn't like. Okay. Um, uh, maybe there was something that something off somebody offered you in the past that you didn't like that you left behind. Um, or a certain business idea or a certain promotion that somebody may have offered you that you turned your back on. Okay. So I think with this card here is you may want to be looking at this again. And because you're coming from this new perspective that you have on yourself. Okay. Um, in the next month, um, it's going to put you in a position where you can look at this again, maybe with fresh eyes. Uh, maybe with the clean slate, maybe you're going to be able to look at things differently now because things have changed for you. Okay. And then how are these new opportunities going to benefit you is the three of swords. Okay. So the three of swords is sometimes, you know, typically it's referred to as like heartache and pain and things like that. But let's read what the book has to say about it. All right. It says, a girl runs through falling leaves, balancing a sword between her swords, between two swords. Absence, sorrow, disappointment, strife, removal, dispersion, diversion, opposition, separation, delay. Okay. All right. So how, how is all this going to benefit you? Okay. Let me, let me, uh, let me think about this for a second here. Okay. Maybe you're balancing something out here, okay? Maybe you're going to leave behind some type of disappointment that you had in the past, okay? Or maybe a current disappointment that you have. Maybe you're going to be just separating yourself from something that is giving you heartache right now, okay? Maybe this current job that you have right now that you're working very hard at Maybe for some of you, it is making you unhappy, okay? And maybe the Three of Swords is related to what you're currently doing. And by you looking at these other opportunities that you may have left behind in the past, maybe this is going to take you out of that, you know, if we're going to put it in terms of pain or sorrow that you're currently having with your current work uh, relationship, right? Because work is a relationship of sorts, right? The people that we work with, the people that we work for, it's a type of relationship. So I think like if you look at other options here, um, it's going to take you away from that pain that you're currently feeling. Okay. And let's see here. The final outcome is the Knight of Coins. 
That's great. So the Knight of Coins is an energy about just slow stability coming forward, okay? Um, coins is, um, is also a symbol representing earth signs. And as a Taurus, you're an earth sign. A Knight of Coins is also an energy of something stable, long-term coming in, okay? So, but it's kind of like a slow-moving energy also. So maybe, you know, you're going to be contemplating these options here for you that you have left behind. And the outcome is going to be that there's going to be a steady, stable energy moving forward towards you, okay? Or you're going to become this stable energy that um, has something of value that you have and that you're holding on to. Maybe with this new job or this new promotion or this new career or just something different that you're doing at your job. Okay. Perhaps this, this thing that in the past you, you left behind. Okay. But this is very stable energy. Okay. It's very stable energy that's coming forward that is providing you with, with lots of stability. It's slow moving, but it's stable and solid. It's something solid that's coming through. Okay. Now let's pull a card from the, um, fortune cookies for you. Okay. Please give us a card for my lovely Taurus on this mid-June, mid-July money and career reading. Please give me one card for my Taurus. Birds and, oh, oh, oh boy, we got a bunch of them. Can we take them all? Well, I'll read them all to you. Let's see. Tough and trying times. Tough times ahead. Think long term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. Okay. I think this may be your current energy here. Okay. These tough and trying times. Um, tough times ahead. Think long term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. Sex sexuality card. Existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong, but if single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. Okay, nice. Love. Love is in the air, a great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. All right, some love messages wanted to come through here for you and the jealousy card. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. Okay? Those are all great messages, I think. Okay? You're going to be reconnecting with somebody. Maybe a relationship is moving to a higher level here for you. You got some love. You got some jealousy. You got a little bit of everything here. All right. Let's pull a card from the success oracles for you. Spirits, angels, guides. Please give us clear messages for my lovely Taurus on this money and career reading for mid-June through mid-July. What message do my Taurus most need to hear? Please give us one card for Taurus. One card for Taurus. Taurus, if you haven't hit that like button, I would appreciate it if you did. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you've liked it so far. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Uh, your subscription really helps my channel grow. I'm also doing a, uh, a giveaway for when I reach 3,000 subscribers, which I'm getting closer and closer to it. So if you want to be part of that giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment that says 3K. And that will enter you into the giveaway. Okay. All right, one more shuffle here. Let's see. Something wants to come. Something wants to come, but let's see if it will or if we'll have to go and get it. I'm going to give it one more, one more shuffle here. All right, let's go for it. Oh, 
All right, Steve Jobs, huh? All right, let's see what we got here. Outsized vision, handheld products. Users can't be choosers. Have a reputation for having a reputation. Again, you may or may not like Steve Jobs. You may or may not agree with the way he made money. Um, but let's read that message again. Steve Jobs, outside, outsized vision, handheld products. Users can't be choosers. Have a reputation for having a reputation. All right, let me read you what the book says. All right, it says, Steve Jobs, a how-to, travel to India, trip on acid, wear black turtleneck, develop perfectionist rage, frequent friend Steve Wozniak makes personal computer, assume role of visionary genius, co-found Apple, 1976, Streamline product aesthetics, make millions, be scapegoat for declining sales, indignantly leave own company, 1985, acquire Pixar, 1986, make multi-billions, return to own company with chipped shoulder, 1997, refuse to focus group, refuse to focus group your products because you know better than consumers what consumers want. Feel enlightened, see acid. Create iMacs, iPods, iPhones, iPads. Be worth $8.3 billion at time of too early passing, summoning hysterical public grief. As you may know, Steve Jobs was born in the United States, and he lived from 1955 to 2011. So I think, you know, the message here for me is that, for you, the message that I'm getting for you is that he did a lot of different things, right? He moved from one thing to another, kind of had a chip on his shoulder, came back to Apple, okay? I don't know, maybe you, some of you will be going back to, um, to an old job that you had, or maybe you need to consider that old job because maybe it's gonna help you heal some wounds if you do, okay? That's what I'm getting here. Go back with a chip on your shoulder. That's okay, you know. Uh, maybe it's hard to go back to an old job. I, I know personally that would be hard for me. But, you know, I kind of feel like you're in these tough times right now. And I think that going back, again, this message only applies to some of you, okay. It's a general message. But for those that this message is for, it seems that you may be having a tough time. So therefore, you're having a new perspective on your skills and what you want for yourself, okay? So you may want to consider going back to an old job. It's a possibility that might help you heal some wounds. And ultimately, I think it's going to put you on this road of stability, okay? Um, it's going to put you on this road of stability that's going to bring you in money and stability, even if it's going to be like a little bit slow moving. Okay. Also for the month ahead, you have some sexuality messages, some love messages, a little bit of jealousy messages. But I think, you know, I think you need to con reconsider an old position. All right, Taurus, that's all what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this message. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.